Are you serious? Oh, okay. Don't let okay. okay, move your hand. Give me a minute, girl. Good morning, Lobos, and welcome to In the News. Today is January 9th, 2020, and it is a green day. As Lobos, we will lead by example, encourage positive relationships, achieve our full potential, and develop habits and skills. Lobos lead the pack. We have a few announcements to help you get through the day. We have a shout out from Sergio. Shout out to Mr. Moreno's third period. Okay. Because he's going to get 50 pages of homework if he doesn't do it. Be okay. quiet. The weather today is currently in Fahrenheit, 72 degrees. So what Look, it, and looks like it says it's going to rain and I didn't even bring my umbrella. And tomorrow <laughs> is going to be... 63 to 73 so degrees it's Fahrenheit. So it's going to be like how we had it today. Moderate rain, Lila. Moderate rain. We have okay. five birthdays today. Birthday today? Yep. Rick Tavius. Oh, okay, oh my God. Okay. Rick Tavius, who's turning 11. Alejandro, who's turning 12. Ezekiel, who's turning 12. Brianna, who's turning 11. And Anaili, who's turning 12. So I'm a... We're going to twist, yeah, uh, happy birthday to all of you. Um, like I, like we were going to do, um, we're going to twist it up a little bit because we're going to have, if we do another part of this thing, it's going to take a while and then it won't go as fast and we're going to run out of time. Okay, um, students, you should have have received a tracker from your reading and writing teacher, um, for the 40 book challenge, here are some incentives you can earn by staying on track. Make sure to take an AR test on each book. Um, so we already done the first three. Um, the, uh, the 15 one was yesterday. So now it's up to the last three, which is the 20, 20 books by Bur February 5th, which is a stack pick and a cupcake. And then 30 books by April 1st is an ice cream party. And then 40 books by May 15th is a stack pick and pizza. My birthday is actually in May, so. What? Yeah. Uh, my, my birthday is like all the way in Okay. Um, students, you make sure to recycle. You use markers in the front office in the front. And then here you go. Okay, so we have a paper about turn markers into energy. The Color Cycle program has re-proposed more than 70 tons of expended markers in the United States and Canada since 2013, and it and uses the most advanced plastic conversion technologies available today to make wax compounds for asphalt and roofing shingles, as well as to generate electricity that can be used to heat homes, cook foods, and power vehicles. All around days of all the students and teachers will be collecting used markers that, um, and that are all ready to be discarded. Any used markers you may have around the house, even non-Crayola brands, highlighters, and dry erase markers can also be included. Drop-off boxes will be located by the nurse's office. Thank you in advance for participating. With the help of students like you across the country, Crayola Color Cycle Program will continue to keep tons of plastic out of landfills each year. Remember, don't throw out that used marker, color cycle it. And now it's time for the cheesy joke of the day. And now it's time for the cheesy joke of the day, brought to you by In The News. Hey, Rekuria. What? What do you call a snowman in the summer? I don't know what. A puddle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This has been in the news. And la noticias. Have, Have a, a thrilling, thrilling Thursday, Lobos. Bye.